Hey everyone, I hope you could see and hear properly. Happy Sunday. Hi, Regita, the noob. So I have some chana. Do you all know what chana is? So this is what it looks like. And usually when we pick it, we don't pick it like this. We just pick the whole um, stem off. Hey Mahia, hey Uncle Pete, hi Alicia, 27, Sea Dog, KTM, Ria, Alicia, Giselle, Taste of South, <laughs> Boabande. <laughs> I don't know how to make Boabande. Someone else on the chat could help you out. Hey everyone, thanks for joining. So I'm gonna make some chana chow and I figured I'd let y'all see how I make it. So hmm, I don't know what happened. Here. So I'm just gonna cut that hard shell. This is called Spanish lime in some places. It's called guinep. Um and I think kinepa. If you know any other names, you could leave it. Um, someone please link me. <laughs> You're funny. Hi, Amanis. KTM mouth watering already. I'm not in Trini. I'm in New York. I got this on Liberty Avenue. So basically you just open it up. Okay, I just lost one. See how it looks on the inside? This specific one is really sweet. The one I had back in Trinidad wasn't that sweet. It's very slippery, I don't know if you could tell. If you've had Shannon before, you probably know. Um, I remember as a child, my cousin, we were by my grandparents' house and my cousin choked on it. And from that day, my grandmother never let us eat chana by her again. She was like, an answer and tell your parents. Kinap um, Mamon Silo, oh nice. Plum chow. Hey, Tokonat. <laughs> Uncle Pete have to bank up a chow. Where in Trinidad can you buy a bowl like this one? I got this for $5 online. I'm sure you could find it in probably Fair and Square or something. In any of those like, restaurant stores, you could find it. This is like a salad bowl. Hi Jimmy, or oh, Skin Up, <laughs> that's a funny name for it. Hi Feroza, yes, you could, you could get almost every single thing over here. Never have I ever. What's that about Danube? Uncle Peter, do you go to any vacation? Hi Zahira, I'm doing well, how are you? When did you learn how to make chana chow? Huh, I had to be really young, like five, six. I've been making chow since probably before I started cooking. I think it's a must. Like all West Indian children learn how to make chow from a young age. Because chow is meant to be like a really spicy snack, like very peppery. And um, although it's so hot in Trinidad and Tobago, we still crave for that heat from chow or from soup or anything else. We love heat. And these were washed. I washed them out properly before I um, started to de-shell them. 
Hi Samantha, I'm Ronaldo. Um, I am left-handed. Grace, you, hubby, your dad. No, not Mandy. Me, hubby, and daddy are left-handed. Hi Shania, good evening. Making a cucumber chow nice. Can you do a pork chow recipe like a pepper pork chicken? Sure, I'll do that for you, Diana. Thanks for recommending. Oh, Diana, thank you so much for recommending um, Ducky in Ottawa Village. His um, fish was amazing and the lobster. Let's see some more comments. Hi Alexa and Trinidad, Trinity to the bone. I could do it some right now. Hi Shivana. Hi April M. I'm happy you like it, April. I have lots more for you all. Bring back great memories when I was in Trinidad. I'm sure you could find it in the West Indian store, Ryan. I got this here on Liberty Avenue. In the West Indian market. Um, yeah, that would make sense, Ecryptus. I used to eat that back home and put salt and pepper on my kids. I was amazed. Which we made a fantastic carambola chow with the Matura lime. Yes, um, when you go to any river lime or beach lime, chow is a must. And one thing we used to do when I was younger, we don't really do it that much anymore, but when you make the chow, you put it somewhere where the sun hits it and you let it soak or like marinate for a few hours and when it gets to soak into the fruit it tastes way better i don't do it much anymore because i just make a quick chow and eat it but um yeah that's how i used to do it when i was younger So it's not that much um chanet. Hey Rishmi, it's my first time joining in your live. It's Princess Anita from Instagram. Oh hi Anita, thanks for joining. Hi Terrence. See Terrence. <laughs> Um, preserving some in a bottle right now. Yeah, I like um, you know, the soaked pomsi day and the soaked plum. Those are really good when it's soaked. Pineapple too. Hi, Selena. Good evening. You can never buy this in the store. Folks sell this on the side of the road. Oh wow, it's more like Trinidad. Thanks, Sham Sasha. Any fruit is good with chow. Um, I make strawberry chow. Um, dragon fruit chow, lychee or lychee, um, rambutan, to make chow with just about any fruit. Would you consider having a meet and greet in Trinidad? I kind of had like an impromptu on when I was there last time. Maybe we'll do a bigger one. Um, Sun Hop could do with some chow. Mine never lasts more than a few minutes. Never tried that kind of chow, but it's a must. Barbarians call them Aki. This is my favorite, but I'm glad you're using them to make a recipe. Hi, Rishmi, how are you doing? Make pineapple chow today. Oh, nice. Have a great Sunday also, Sandra. Thanks for joining in. I tried mango and pineapple, yeah. Anytime you mix fruits, they always taste so good. So let's put that aside. Um, so I wanted to show you all, this is like a substitute for bandania that I'll use in today's recipe. It's a cilantro, it's not as strong as the bandania or the shadow benny, but it works. I'm not gonna use it today though, but I just wanted to show you all. So let me see how I could do this. Just give me a sec, I have to turn this um, thing around. 
so now y'all could see me but I'm gonna set the chop up this stuff so let me put you all here so all oh, I wanted to say big up to Uncle Pete he made this knife for me back last year Okay, there's a cat somewhere on that neighbor. Sounds hungry. So this is from Uncle Pete. Um, it's a really sharp knife. Um, sorry. How was your trip to Trinidad, the river line that is, I'm thinking about the vacation. The river line we did it back in January, but I have a next river line that we did in Shark River that I'll post. I've been to Florida many, many times. Um, I'm not sure if I'll go. If I do, it'll be for probably Miami Carnival. So first I'm gonna start with the garlic. And I already pounded the garlic. I did it in the mortar using a pestle just so that it's easier to chop. You can also grind it in your food processor or your blender. But when you mash it first, it's much easier. When I'm making chow, I like plenty garlic. Plenty, plenty. Raspberry chow. No, that's not the, that's the neighbor's chow. The um, cat cast in me, the cat like behind this something um, here. But yeah, that's funny and crazy. I had the same idea, local store has raspberries. I'll go look for the catchers now. I can't see it though. I don't know where it's hiding. So for the garlic, you just want to mince it up finely. You could grind it too in your mortar, and pass, um, in your mortar using the pestle, or you can do it on a still. Or you can just throw it in the food processor, like I told you all. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna add this to this. It's a lot, I know. I like plenty garlic. Let me stand this. Thanks everyone for joining in. Um, I want to thank you for sharing the safety, it was nice. Same to you, Andrew Paul. Thanks for joining in. So, with the shadow Benny, you just want to chop it up fine. And of course you could do this um, in your mortar and pestle, in your mortar, I keep saying in your mortar and pestle, in your mortar, or on your silk, or in a food processor. I 
I smell um, coals. Somebody barbecue them. Okay, so this is good. Look at the texture of it. It's fine. Sorry, the quality is a little bad because the lighting is not that great here. But yeah, so I'm adding it to the chanat. Now it's for the peppers. I have three peppers. How much do you think I should put? Put all. And then this is a bird pepper. You could use this too, but this is too mild. Bah chow. Never had this chow before, but it already looks amazing. Yes, it's so great. Chow is always good. It's so nice now. So yeah, I'm gonna cut two of the peppers. All three pepper. <laughs> Use a glove, the pepper looks spicy. Um, so these are washed already. I'm just pulling out these stems. 27, so I've used all three. <laughs> Maybe I will put on this gloves. Okay, wait now. It has something on it. Hmm. I lost my napkin. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Everything's blue and oily. Okay, so Anisa, Tara, try everything in chop and voila, no then. Yeah, I was mentioning that, but because I'm making it outside, I'm just doing everything manually. This is how a traditional chow is made. Long time we used to just cut up everything by hand. We never use food processor or anything. Yeah, the seeds are staying in. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm accustomed to the pepper. So now I'm just going to add the salt. I'm using some Himalayan pink salt. My uncle, he adds ketchup and sugar to his jowl. And it tastes kind of like the sauce is like an oyster sauce. Let me see if I could give you all a better visual.
poncho. I, that's how kind of like how I make my um my boil comb ingredients for the oyster sauce. As in chow oyster sauce or regular oyster sauce. It's usually the sauce from the oysters, lemon or lime, sugar, plenty garlic and seasonings, um, ketchup, soy sauce. Yeah, so this is chana chow. Tasty but scary. Yeah, it probably is scary. But to be quite fair, the pepper over here is not as strong as back home. So like three peppers would have the taste of one hot pepper. I find. Depends on where I buy it. Some places I buy it and the pepper is really hot. You can't handle all that pepper. <laughs> My father-in-law is going to get us. Let me taste one. Let me taste one and see. see how hot it is. So it has a bunch of pepper on it. Yeah, adding a little bit of water or some citrus, like some lemon juice or lime juice. Makes it taste nice too. Mmm. It hot but not as hot as Trini pepper. So hope you all enjoy the quick recipe. Of course you can use any fruit you want. Um, black pepper goes good in mango chow, yeah. Um, for sweet, for sour chow, I like to put black pepper, sugar, and some lemon juice. Okay, so. We could chat a little bit because I didn't do our live this weekend. The stand is crazy. Right. Um, dolls. No, I haven't tried dolls. Um, thanks, Nisha. Now her channel is stuck in my teeth. Looks good, not a pepper please son. Zara says hi. Hi Zara. That y'all look like it lashing. I'm cooking chicken provision soup right now and thinking about Batman. Her oh, channel stuck in my teeth, sorry. Um have a great day. Oh, the golden ray. Yeah, Bat loves golden ray. Plum will go good with that. Yeah, I had so much chow back home. I had plum chow, mango chow, uh, what else? I had plenty chana chow. I had um, some other chow I had. There's still pepper on my hands. Just give me a few seconds. I'm just going to wash it out right here by this hose. Hopefully that's a little clearer now. Yeah. Um, enjoy your cooking. Thank you, Alicia. Have you ever tried doll shop? I haven't. Chana chow, yes. If you don't like pepper, you can use sweet peppers. I live in TNT. I'm back in New York. 
Same in the UK, the peppers are grown in polytunnels in Holland and they're not nearly as strong. Nah, I can't handle that much pepper. You see, Scorpion, Scorpion, and Carolina Reaper. That's on our next level. You should try the doll's shop. It's located at least three to four shops after Sugar Cane House. Okay. Thanks, Rick. It looks really good. Thanks, Sheik. It's tasty. It's naturally really sweet, so you don't need to add any sugar. For my uncle, he adds sugar and ketchup, bun, and plenty pepper, and he makes like a nice sauce. Usually, depending on what fruit you use, um, like if you use cucumbers or if you use um, like a watery fruit, it gives out a lot of, it yields a lot of liquid, so then you get a nice sauce in your chow. So um, that sauce is nice to drink. I remember in primary school we would get those bags and we'd make a hole at the bottom and like drink the sauce. I reached the late good afternoon. Hi Runa. Yeah, there's a challenge at South Park. I think it's like who could eat the most coffee and peppers or something. Thanks YouTube, yeah. It's really good. Um, where did you buy the channel? I got it on 123rd and Liberty Avenue at JB's West Indian. I love the channel. Thanks Azil Mohammed. Thanks for watching. Thanks Selena Budu Budu Selena. That's um No they're Guyanese, they're not Trini. Yeah, that's my neighbours. With chanat, if you all remember like long time when you eat chanat, it used to be really slippery. So like, parent, your parents would tell you to be careful when you eat in the chanat. Don't put the whole thing in your mouth. Because this is so slippery that it's really easy to get stuck in your throat. And that happened to my cousin already. She choked on a chanat. And they got so scared. My grandmother was taken care of her. And they had to like, like, Time, like kind of kind of thing and then finally it flew like quite in the backyard the channel flew straight out of um, her throat and my grandmother said do ever eat channel by me again because I can't answer to all your parents I'm gonna get sauce. I'm gonna try something like diff um, different, like shrimp sauce. That sounds good, Diana. Um, I remember this man around the Savannah. He used to make it. He used to make the shrimp sauce at Oyster Man. It was really good. Okay, I'll share one, Selena. It's similar. Yeah, it's really similar. It's lots of seasoning and ketchup and sugar and lemon juice and the oyster sauce from Indie Shell they use that so we are having a lovely um, weekend so far a lovely Sunday um, I just be there in NY for Labor Day okay you mean you will be there? Okay. Cool. Hi, Mazar. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you all. Thanks for joining in. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed the video so far. Um, did you enjoy Ma's dal recipe? Um, what else did we post? The river lime. That was from January. Lots of people said they saw Mandy pregnant again. She's not pregnant again. Um, the video was taped in January 2019, so a few months ago. Um, we have Shark River. We did a Shark River line that I'll post also. 
um, a few people asked about roti shops in New York so I'm posting uh, I've been working on that since earlier this year I think I mentioned it on my live um, and then I've been filming a few videos at Singh's roti shop like background videos so y'all can see like in the kitchen and stuff um, so I'll try to post that within the coming weeks I love you cooking, watching you from Texas. I miss New York so much, seeing your videos and having access to all the different foods and Liberty. Yeah, we have, we could get almost everything here um, on Liberty Avenue. There's a good part about living, there's one of the good parts about living in New York. Um, you feel right at home and when you go back to Trinidad, you don't really need to bring that much stuff back. I think the only thing I usually bring back is, I cook bhaji, that's the only thing I bring back. I don't even bring peppers or anything because um, we get every single thing here you don't need anything you don't need to bring anything from Trinidad we get everything on Liberty do you do certain restaurants pay you to go there? no I do not get paid to do these videos I go there on my own um, if someone recommends them to me or if I just visit and I like the place that's the only, place, that's the only time I'll upload a video I don't like the idea of somebody paying me to do a review on them because I feel like it's a dishonest review because the person paying you to go there you have to say like okay it's good or whatever but I always tell them before I'm like I'm gonna give my honest opinion if something is really bad like if the service is really bad I just don't upload it I just don't share anything about the restaurant then because I try my hardest not to be very negative um, about places because I don't want to like say something negative about a place and then people stop buying so let everyone form their own opinions about what they think but um in Trinidad I like to support the restaurants and try to bring in more business for them um, by sharing what they offer so yeah it's basically me just visiting places and liking their stuff and just sharing sharing a little post about them so fish and chips in New York so fish and chips in NY yeah the fish and chips place um that's Kevin's favorite place assault and battery um Sean no um it's my husband's cousin that's their roti shop that's my husband's family's roti shop and I wasn't gonna do a video there. I think I mentioned this a long time because they're family. I don't wanna be like, you know, I'm gonna support them because they're family. But they invited me to come and see behind the scenes in the kitchen. And so I went a few times and I did a few videos. So, um, I'm very honest about like, if the place is really bad, I just don't showcase them. And if their service is bad but I used to go to Sings a lot before and no one knew who I was because I never told anyone I was Kevin's wife I would just go and buy food and they um, like his family was never there so they wouldn't see me I would always buy there and I never had like a bad um, review or anything I've been going there for a long time since I've been living here Sorry, there's a lot of scary noises around. Um, hi, Caribbean princess. How do you store your dashing bush? Dashing bush doesn't stay for very long. Um, like you could put it in the fridge here, yeah, but it kind of wilts the leaves. So what we do is we just peel it right away, chop it up and freeze it. Or what I did when I was coming back to New York, I cooked it right away and I just stored it in mini Ziploc bags. Are you aware of a dessert made, ripe, made of ripened mangoes called Golomba? I think I had this at, you know Matthew's Gandhi's kind of Cooking on YouTube? He invited me to a puja here in New York and when I went there I had that. And um, it was more of a savory, savory dish because we ate it with roti. 
but um, he has a recipe on his channel that you could try out. I think his grandmother was telling me, his grandmother was telling me that she used masala, she used garam masala to make it and plenty of sugar. Do you get riri pepper and liberty? Yeah, we do get plenty of that. Yeah. Happy Sunday, I love your channel. Thanks, Popo Jagdale. <laughs> nah, Sunnyside, he is, I think Sunnyside and Kevin could be alike. They have the same kind of sarcasm and same kind of humor. Yeah, that's true. Um, food back home is so much better. I agree. Because of you, I found out about Chubby's and I never regretted it. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so happy you like it. Chubby is really good. Um, no, it's New York, so you always hear like police and ambulance and stuff. They're always like circling around. They're always by the park. Um, there's always an ambulance parked up by the park there so in case someone gets sick they're right there Sybil's is really good they have a nice fish sandwich Selena yeah Sybil's is very good have you ever done a video of any food places in the Toronto area no um last time I was in Toronto it had to be like 2005 so um Whenever I go back, I'll let you all know. I'll do a video. I enjoy your doubles recipe, especially the barrel, but the channel will not get as soft as the vendors, but I like your method. What I've been doing is pressure cooking my channel, and it's been working out. I really admire you. I'm going to send out to you everything. Thanks, Mish Love. I'm going to watch PewDiePie. Okay, bye. Um... Would you be there for Labor Day? Yeah, I should be here for Labor Day. So, um, yeah, that was the chow recipe. Really simple to make. If you all have any variations, you could always let me know. But yeah, chow could be made with any fruit. It's basic ingredients. Um, plenty garlic, shadow bani or bandania, and lots of pepper. And of course, you could add sugar or ketchup or... Uh, a dash of soy sauce, I know that's weird, but you have to try it. My uncle makes the best like oyster sauce chow, and it's I don't know, I've never had it before. And I mean, when he made it for me, um, I had never tasted it before, and it was like a game changer. So, you'll have to try it, yeah. So, definitely. <laughs> You could use any fruits to make chow. No limits. Did you purchase that bowl in Trinidad? I have to look for the link. Um, I didn't purchase it in Trinidad, no. It was a restaurant, an online restaurant store, and I paid five US for it. But it's really nice. It's light, it's a solid bowl, but I use it for every single thing. Um, So yeah, this is already starting to make a nice sauce, but if you wanted to make sauce in this, you could add some orange juice or some citrus, like some lemon juice or a little bit of water just to make a sauce. But uh, let me head out now. Hmm, I'm not sure what tag boss is talking about. <laughs> Okay, I'll look for the bowl and I'll send you a link. Definitely. Hi, Auntie Carol. Thanks for joining in. Bye, Alicia. Thank you. I'm gonna head out now to Sunday Hugs, Rachel. Okay, your skin looks great. Thanks. It's been going crazy since I got back from Trinidad. 
because I eat so much um, oily stuff. So, thanks so much for joining in on your Sunday. Thanks for giving me a little bit of your time on your Sunday evening. And I hope you enjoyed seeing how to make the chow. Chana chow, you could do this for any fruit. Same method. Um, so I hope you all have a lovely week and I hope you enjoy the new videos that I have for y'all. Bye bye. You'll see, um, you might see the Sings video this week coming up. You'll see behind the scenes in Sings Roti Shop. You'll see Trin City Roti Shop and a few other Roti Shops on Liberty. A few people requested to see Roti Shops in Liberty. Um, I was not gonna do like a video because it's always really hectic in those roti shops there's never like a a quiet time to do a video but um since you all want to see i will share it with you all and show you all what like what a doubles and stuff looks like and the roti so thank you again for joining in and i'll see you all next time bye enjoy your sunday